This is cool, man. This is like a reunion of sorts. I have not seen this man in, what, it's got to be 10 years? At least 10 years. And you, oh, that's great. You get the shit, man. This is going to be great. I'm looking forward to this. I have not seen this guy in so long, and he's very funny. Let him hear it. From New Jersey, of course, like every other shithead in this building. <laughs> Give it up for Rudy B. I always wondered what it would feel like to be five foot seven. <laughs> I guess it doesn't work. I'll just I'll move over like this. So, <laughs> makes a little more sense. <laughs> What's up, crumb cakes? Crumb cakes. Okay. Is it crumb face? Crumb, oh, crumb cakes. <laughs> Sorry. So anyway, uh, tell you a little bit about myself. Um, married uh, 24 years. Uh, don't, 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 don't clap. Don't clap. It's not like I'm happy. Good. How you doing? You don't come face. Well, well. Yeah, so yeah, like I said, you know, married, married 25 years, so yeah. I'm actually, I'm, I'm going through the I, I hate the fucking air that you breathe stage in my relationship right now. <laughs> Sort of God, my wife comes up to me the other day, she's like, baby, did I tell you how much I love you today? And I was like, no. She goes, good, I'm just making sure. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah. I'm laying in bed, you know, she's putting on her makeup in the mirror, you know, she's looking at me in the reflection of the mirror, I'm on the bed, you know, just, you know, you know she, she's like, sweetie, does it look like I'm getting old to you? I'm just like, how the fuck would I know? I don't look at you. <laughs> <laughs> don't question it. <laughs> Here's another thing that happens to you when you're married for a long time, though, that girlfriend from the past, Creeps her way back into your life somehow. Brothers, you know, put the girl up next. Fucking bug. Yeah. <laughs> it's happened to you? No? It happened to me? Yeah. And all of a sudden, she's coming over for dinner and she's best friends with your wife? Yeah. Seriously? True story. My wife's like getting ready, doorbell rings, you know? Uh, she's like, oh, go get the door. Carol's here. I'm like, fuck, shh. I gotta see this bitch. I open the like, hey, how you doing, Carol? Hey, good, good to see you. You know, she's like small talking. Jay, hey, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm secretary now. And yeah, yeah, I'm doing really good. The whole time she's talking to me, I'm just staring at her lips. <laughs> I'm thinking, my dick. What was in her mouth? <laughs> But it was there. You know, like, you know, you know telling her, true story. I'm telling her about myself. You know, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm doing comedy. You know, the whole time she's staring at me, she's thinking, his dick was so small. You know, we sit down for dinner. My wife is staring at me. She's thinking, his dick is so small. I hate when he puts it in my mouth. <laughs> anyway, now. You know, but you know, it's a, I, I'm getting a little tired of some of the things that like women are saying lately. You know, like you know, like you know, women are saying, "Oh, you know, my husband's so controlling. He never lets me do anything anymore. You know, I can't talk on the phone no more. I can't dump through magazines. I can't go to the mall. Yeah, we're we're controlling. Men are controlling. Yeah. Anybody ever played the game of chess? Chess, right? What's the most powerful piece on the board? The queen. The fucking queen! How ironic is that, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and why is the queen the most powerful piece on the board? Because the queen can move in any direction she wants. As many spaces as she wants throughout the whole fucking game. Right? Yeah. Unlike the king, who can also move in any direction he wants. One fucking space at a time. Right? That poor king, the whole game, is like, move over here, that fucking horse. Move over here, that fucking horse. I hate that fucking horse. It's jumping over on my back. With the bishop, he's got me from over here. I can't even see him. Where the fuck is my queen? Yeah. She's 
banging a pawn. That's where the fuck the pawn is. Oh, fuck me, I'm crying. <laughs> and then let's not forget the object of the game, right? To trap the king. Not to kill him. He'd be better off dead. Right? But to trap him, right? Just to fucking, uh, just lasso him, fucking drag him down and hog tie his fucking ass. And then you gotta untie him, cause Monday, he's gotta go right back to work. <laughs> yeah, but we're controlling. I'm gonna fucking cry up here. <laughs> For a long time, you know, even though their marriages don't work out, we all say the same thing, don't we? Yeah, we all say the same thing. Yeah, you know, my marriage isn't so great, but you know, I got two great kids out of it. Yeah, I got two really fucked up kids out of it. <laughs> right? Yeah, my son, right? He gets a note from his teacher. Is the actual note? I'll read it to you, right? He gets a note from his teacher the other day. Here, dear Mr. V, your son Anthony had a bad day at school today. He threatened another student by clenching his fist at his face. Although no contact was made, please address this issue so that it may not happen again. Being a good father I am, I called him out on I said, Anthony, get your ass down here. You didn't make any contact, Anthony! I told you, get close to his face, you tuck your arm and you come across! Go upstairs, no PS4 for a week. I believe in, you know, good parenting. He's <laughs> <laughs> got, got a little nipple. <laughs> ah, that's good. Ah, well, let's get off the relationships for a second. You know what else I think is cool? You ever hear, like, uh, horoscopes. Horoscopes are awesome, you know? Like, not, not like the, you know, the fortune-telling part of it, but, like, like, if you have a cool sign, Right? Like right off the bat, you got Leo. Right? Fucking ferocious lion just coming out of the fucking woods, gonna pounce and scratch your eyeballs out, right? Yeah? You got Taurus, that's another one, fire breathing bull, you know, just gonna fucking charge you and pale you against a fence. Yeah? You got like Sagittarius is cool, you know? It's like half man, half beast, you know? He's just. <laughs> you know, he's got a bow and arrow too. You know, I'm gonna take you out from 50 yards away. <laughs> you know, you got Scorpios. You know, it's a little, little, little freaking insect that can just take you out with just one sting of his tail. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, yeah, you wanna know what I am? I'm Aquarius. Yeah. I'm a flamboyant gay guy holding a vase, pouring water into a never ending flowing river. Drip, 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 hey, don't fuck with me. I swear to God, I will just wet you. I swear to God, I'll wet you all over. Especially you, Leo, because cats don't even like water. So I will just wet you. So. How, how much water is in the vase, too? I mean, he's pouring it into a river. It's like never ending. It's been pouring water since the beginning of time. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, so, what else? So, anyway, you know, I don't have a whole lot more. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> but, uh, before I go, uh, is there anybody, uh, hold on, let me get just, uh, get a little situated here, hold on. This is my lucky baseball shirt. Can't fucking put it on. <laughs> Is there anybody uh, getting married anytime soon? Anybody? Uh, That's right. Joe Conley is getting married, obviously. He said that. That's right. But Joe, so before you do that, just do yourself a favor and just uh, turn your TV on and watch an episode of Cops. Okay? Because it's always the same thing, isn't it? Cop goes over. Excuse me, what seems to be the problem over here? <laughs> I'll tell you what the damn problem is! <laughs> <laughs> Bitch locked me out the house.
house again. <laughs> Tom, I know it's the third time I've been here this week. What the hell do you want me to do? I can't get in the house. I ain't got the damn key. Give me the goddamn keys, Diane! Bitch! <laughs> No, Tom, no, no, absolutely. She's not getting back towed for Elvin until I get my damn field knife back. Okay? I bought that US 1 flea market two years ago. Kept it in good shape all that time. Bitch took it to me. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know the girl. She got a scratch on her neck. Uh, she gets to do everything. I get fucking locked up. <laughs> some bad pussy back in 87. <laughs> I went to the dentist. He said I had some kind of gum disease or clitigitivitis or something. <laughs> anyway, hey guys, man, that's going to be my time. Because that's all I got. But before I go, I just want to say happy birthday to you, Crumbs. And I want to say happy birthday to my two sons. I have actually two really great sons. And your birthday is today and tomorrow. I love you guys so, so much. Matt, thank you so much for having me up. Right? Oh. All right, man. Give it up one more time for Rudy B. Yeah.